guys, I hope you're having an awesome summer. So for today's video, I'll be doing a summer favourite because I did just go on holiday and I had an amazing two weeks away. I went to Bangladesh and Thailand. It was crazy hard, but amazing, and I loved it. And for those guys who didn't check out my Snapchat stories, y'all be missing out, but don't worry. Homegirl will fill you in because I did film vlogs and I will be uploading those very soon, so look out for those. Anywho, back to today's summer favourites. I have a bunch of really cool stuff that I used throughout like the past few months when I went on holiday and just generally when I was in England. Just a bunch of stuff that I really love and I like. And I think you guys will like as well. As per usual, I will have pictures and links to everything in this video on my blog, so do check that out at simonchow.co.uk. And be sure to follow me on social media at Simon Smiles Life for Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, all those fancy social media sites. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's just jump straight into it with beauty products. Okay, so my first favorites I have are these amazing nail polishes that I got from Beauty Lope. Now these bad boys check all the boxes because they're halal, they're vegan, they're water-based, and they're water permeable. So for all you girls out there who do your nails but you're worried about not being able to pray, y'all will be able to pray with these. I know not everyone's comfortable with wearing nail polish while they pray, they might feel uncomfortable, etc, etc. So do not fear honey boo-boos because these honeys are peelable. Ooh, yes. I know you guys are probably having flashbacks to back when you were nine using that Barbie nail polish that was peelable and it was sticky and gooey, but do not worry, these are not like that. I mean, you put them on, they dry really quickly, you just need two coats, you put it on your top coat and boom, you are done. You are good to go and the moment you're done with them, you can just flick the corner and peel off and you done. Which is perfect for me because I'm super lazy. Like the reason why I don't wear nail polish is because I can't be bothered to take it off and obviously that's a problem if I do want to go pray or do whatever. But with these it's like I can leave them on and if I do want to take them off I just I just sit there on my laptop watching my anime just peeling it off. No big deal. So yeah these are amazing. So these are the colours I've got. I have four of them and they're like sort of neutral colours that sort of go with everything. And then I have the top coat which just seals the deal and makes it look fabulous. So if you guys are looking for a good water permeable nail polish then definitely check out Beauty Lope. They are amazing. I will link them down below and on my blog and all that stuff because these bad boys are saving my life especially because I'm just so lazy. The next thing that I have in my favourites is this honey boo boo. Let me just introduce you to my new boo. This is the Yes2 Coconut Ultra Light Body Lotion Spray and this has been a saver to my life. Oh my lord, I love it. First of all, it's coconut. Second of all, sprayable. Me and my husband use this throughout the whole holiday and we've also been using it since we got back to England because it's just amazing. Honestly, it is. It, it does what it says in the tin. It's moisturizing, perfect for dry skin, and it's ultra light and it's sprayable. I know it sounds ridiculous for me to be so excited about sprayable, but I just love it. The next thing they have in here are some lashes and they are the Fatia's World 3D Foaming Lashes in Nancy. I've never had like 3D foaming lashes before and oh my lord, after trying these, I am literally a changed woman. Whenever I put these on, I just feel like I could just conquer. Like I can do anything I set my mind to. They're just so light and fluttery and just beautiful. I just, oh my lord, I just feel like a fairy princess queen. I know I probably sound a little insane in this video, but honestly, I've been loving these. Like even if I have no makeup on and I might have like 10 billion spots on my face, if I have these lashes on, I can do anything. So yeah, these are what the lashes look like. They are absolutely beautiful. I do also have another pair of lashes from them, but I haven't tried them yet because I was just so hooked on these. I didn't even want to open the other box. I was like, you know what? Let me wear these to death and then wear the other ones. Also, I do have a discount code which is Simon 10 and you guys will get 10% off. So yeah, these are beautiful AF and now moving on to the next item. The next product is another little lifesaver and it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. So I've been hearing about this product since the dawn of time. Everyone's raving about how it's so amazing and it's like a lifesaver etc etc but I never really ended up buying it. But then a while ago I bought the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow and I loved it. It was magnificent. And originally I was actually planning on taking that with me because it's like the bee's knees for doing your brows making them look like super fleeky. But I want to something a little bit quicker because usually when I use that it takes me about like five minutes or so sometimes even longer depending on what's happening and if I'm having a bad brow day which believe me happens I might not have bad hair days but I do have bad brow days so yeah long story short I wanted something quicker so I thought I would try this and it's literally been a godsend and the last thing that I've got in my beauty favorites is love me beauty now you guys have heard me talk about them before in my last favorites video but honestly their summer bags were just straight up fire so naturally I had to put them in this video too because it was just too good to pass up so quick little roundup for these guys who don't know what love me beauty is it's an online website where you sign Sign up and every month you get like 60 points and you get to spend those points on whatever products you want from their store they get sent to you and you use them and that's basically it it's a great way to buy products that you want to try without spending loads of money so I definitely love it it's 10 pounds per month which sounds a little expensive but honestly when you see the things they give you and that you know the things that you can buy from there it's just it's so worth it it's amazing so because of summer they had this amazing edit called the everlasting edit and they had so many amazing perfect things for summer I'm just gonna show you guys a few things that I got from there 
and oh my lord you guys will be in love like I was so the first things I got from there are a bunch of Echo Tool makeup brushes which I absolutely love because seriously your girl needs the makeup brushes I've got them in different types so I've got like the travel kit I've got the daily kit I've got the eye kit I've got a bunch of different kits and then alongside those I also got a whole bunch of Vita Liberata luxury tan products there's so many awesome goodies on here I think if you were going on holiday and you're the kind of person to self tan these would definitely come in handy so yeah I got those and then I got this really really cute bag and inside this little bag I have I've got a Dr. Lip original nipple balm for lips I have this cellular repair serum from Madara Original Skincare. And then I've also got two things from NUXE. So yeah, that's just an example of some of the things that you can get from there. So I think it's pretty good if you can get even some of these for a turner. It's just like, mm. So yeah, that is the last thing that I have in my beauty favorites. Now moving on to clothing and accessories. So the first thing that I have in my clothing favorites are these awesome trousers. They're super loose. I think they're called like palazzo trousers or something like that. They're fancy, they're loose, they're comfortable. They got a fancy print on it. They're really light and floaty. And just overall they're just amazing and also they have huge pockets which is a super plus because I've got like an iPhone 6 plus and that phone doesn't fit in any pocket so for them to fit in these is just like mm. Girl, I live. I originally bought these like a year back for like a festival lookbook, but you know, I didn't go to any festivals, so I just started wearing them around the house. And when I went on holiday, I took them with me. And I literally wore these almost everywhere at home, outdoors, in bed. I wore them literally everywhere. They're just so comfortable and amazing. I love. And also, I forgot to mention these are from New Luck, so they were like super affordable. I can't remember how much they were, but I'm thinking maybe around like 15 pounds or even less. But yeah, you guys should definitely get a pair of these because they're just so comfortable. Like, why did I ever think about? wearing leggings. Leggings are trash in comparison to these lovely loose trousers. They're just this is so perfect. I just feel like I'm on an ocean paradise floating around when I wear these. They're just awesome. The next thing I have is this amazing elephant bag. It's like a huge shopper bag with a big massive zip in the middle and then these cool fat straps. And I bought this when I was in Bangkok for like super duper cheap and originally I just bought it just to put stuff in because I was carrying things in separate bags and it was hurting my hand so I was like you know what I'm gonna snatch that bag up, put stuff in there and then I'll be all ready to go outside and stuff. And then I can walk around comfortably so I did that but then I didn't actually realize how good the quality of this bag is. Like, I was surprised because it was so cheap, but the quality is like top notch. So, I use this for like everything. I use it for when I went shopping, just generally to keep like my money and like you know, my it's and bits in. I also use it as a shopper bag. So, when I did go shopping and I didn't have like you know, bags for clothes and stuff, I just put it straight in there. I use it when I was at the airport. I use it literally for everything. It became my multi purpose travel bag. The next thing on my list are these amazing flat brown shoes that I got from Office. They are so cute. They've got like this cool little detailing at the front. And then they've got these really pretty lace-up parts. It's just so beautiful and so cute. I originally went into office looking for like some flat black shoes to take to Bangladesh with me. But then I saw these brown beauties and I was just like, oh, girl, it's like a match made in heaven. And the last thing that I have in my clothing favorites are another pair of shoes. And they are these black flat pointy shoes with like this little bit of silver detailing on the heel. And I picked these up from Thailand from the shop called Bata, which they also have in Bangladesh, but they didn't have these shoes in Bangladesh. I've been on the hunt for like the perfect black pointy flat shoe for like the longest time. So when I saw these, I was like, girl, you gonna be mine. And now finally on to the last category, which is entertainment. I'm gonna try and keep this wrapped up and small and short because y'all know how much I can talk. So the first thing they have on this list is a movie called Zootropolis. It's a really cute, feel-good animated movie, I think by Disney. It's basically about a bunny rabbit who wants to be a police officer, but there's no police officers that are bunny rabbits because the animals tend to do jobs that are more stereotypical to their characters. For example, the bunny rabbits would usually be like carrot farmers and all the bigger animals would generally tend to be like police officers and stuff so it's about a bunny rabbit who wants to become a police officer and then she meets a fox and they work together to solve a crime and I know it sounds really silly and childish but honestly watch it it's so cute so feel good and it's just it's just really nice there's some really nice messages and I love it I don't know not everyone likes animated movies but I love them and it was really cute and I loved it the second thing I have on this list is some music and it's a Suicide Squad soundtrack I did watch the movie it was <laughs> like a bit ooh and a bit Ooh, I like how I described that with like zero words, but overall the soundtrack is really, really good. They have some amazing songs like Gangster and Suck for Pain, I just love. I think overall the soundtrack of that movie was just like, it was lit, it was so lit. So yeah, if you guys are looking for some good music, definitely check it out. The next thing on my list are three animes. I tried to limit myself to three because there were so many good animes this past season, but I'ma try and chill myself and talk about three only. So the first one is this anime called Orange, and oh my lord, 
it makes me cry so much so there's moments where I'm crying from happiness and then there's moments where I'm crying because it literally feels like someone has ripped out my heart and then stabbed it numerous times because it's just so sad it's just it's so sad but it's also so good so like I can't help but watch it it's basically about a group of high school students they're all friends and one of the main characters she received a letter from her future self telling her about all these regrets that she has and she wants her to live her life without regrets so she's like you know I want you to do this want you to do that I don't want you to have regrets and in the letter it tells her that one of her friends isn't gonna be there in the future which you know is straight up just like <gasps> so deep so sad like why you're telling me this but it happens but yeah the letter tells her to you know try and make this friend feel comfortable talk to them make sure they're happy you know stuff like that because you know they don't want to lose their friend in the future it's honestly so interesting I haven't seen anything like this before it is pretty sad but honestly I, I'd definitely say to watch it it's so so good like every season there's one anime that stands out beyond the others and this is definitely the anime that stands out like it outshines all the other ones that are currently airing so yeah watch that I try not to give too many spoilers away because trust me so much stuff happens I can't even begin to tell you guys but you guys should definitely check it out the second anime that I have is called The Disastrous Life of Psyche K and oh my lord this anime is just straight up like Oh my lord. So basically this is a four minute anime that airs every single day except for weekends which is really sad but hey ho we get five episodes a week so I'm good with that. And right now it's around like episode 45, 46, something like that but in total it will be having 85 episodes so I'm super excited for that. It's basically about a high school student who has powers but has like all the powers when it comes to the mind like he can read minds, he can send messages to other people, he can levitate things, he can like control a lot of things he has a lot of powers but unlike most people with superpowers instead of like rescuing people or you know turning totally evil he's more of a chill person he just wants to be left alone and undisturbed but for some reason everyone loves him and everyone wants to be his friend and in the episodes he's always trying to do something to get someone to go away from him but that thing that he does ends up making that person love him even more so everything always backfires so he just wants to chill but everyone's always up all up in his business and no one knows that he has powers except for his parents and it's just it's so good and so funny like I can't even begin to explain to you how awesome it is and all the background characters are just equally as amazing and it's just so funny like I can't believe they managed to make an anime so funny for just four minutes like I'm laughing just straight throughout the whole thing it's amazing so yeah, you guys should definitely check it out. I mean, it's only four minutes, so it'll take like no time whatsoever to watch. And the last anime that I have in this list is actually an anime and a manga because I have read it and also watched it and I loved it so much. And it's called My Hero Academia and it is so good. It's another anime about superpowers, but it's completely different to Psyche K, like completely different, the opposite side. So it's a world where pretty much almost everyone has superpowers from like being able to shoot sellotape from their elbows to like setting off fireballs from their mouth or just like vaporizing something with their eyes. There's like 10 billion superpowers and everybody got them except for our little main character who is super adorable. Now in this world, being a superhero is like a huge thing. Like they have training camps, they have school academies. Like it's a whole thing. Like it's a job to be a superhero. So a lot of these kids go from school into like special training academies. And he obviously wants to go to one of the top training academies to become a superhero, but you know, he got no powers so he can't. But then some stuff happens and he has powers and then other stuff happens and then you have villains and you have all these amazing characters and it's just, it's so good. I know it sounds like every other superhero movie TV show cartoon ever but honestly it's so good and one thing I really love about this is the attention to detail they put into all the characters like there's so many background characters but I know information about every single one of them and I even know all of their names which is like a big shocker because usually with background characters you hardly know anything about them or you just about remember their name but with this we have like 14 other characters and we know all their names and all their details and stuff and it's really nice just to be able to see all the different types of characters out there because usually you just get stuck with like the typical few but with this there's just so many there's just so much variety it's just it's amazing I mean I was on episode 3 and I loved it so much that I went and read the manga straight away I was like girl I gotta do this so now I read it weekly and I love it and oh my god some of my children go through some real hard stuff I just I cannot it hurts me so much but yeah I'm gonna try and round it up there all the things I mentioned are awesome so try and check them out if you can but yeah that brings us to the end of this summer favorites video I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope it's helped you guys like I mentioned earlier I will be putting all the details to everything in this video on my blog so do check that out at simoncharlie.co.uk and be sure to follow me on social media at simonsmiles like for Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat all of them fancy stuff but yeah guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video hope it's helped you guys and I'll see you in the next one bye using balms or even cleansing oils you just get a little bit in your hands rub it together and then rub it on your face and the oil will slowly break down all your makeup take it off and this works great with long lasting makeup so if you have